Welcome to EasyApp and our application called Defects. Once you've set up your contractors and your projects, you simply go to projects to do a new defect. Go to the actions tab, hit new item. And in this instance, we're gonna call it um, door handle. And we write that in. And because we already were in the project, the project is listed. So we're gonna pick the area of the defect or punch list or snag list. I've already got some listed here. If it's not in this list that you've already created, you can add your own list or you can add your own frequent one. So in this instance, it's in the bedroom. And then we're going to put the description. Once again, if you want to write your own field, you put it in the custom area. If you want to have add something that's always in there, you add a frequent description. So in this case, I'm just going to put it to custom one. Say install missing door handle. done hit description go back you can add a personal note in here that doesn't show on a report it's just a personal note for your own information if you're using an iPad you can pick the photo from your library if you're using an iPhone you can take the photo there and then and then save it to your library you pick the contra contractor who is responsible for installing the missing door handle in this case we're going to use silly sample um, we're going to give her a deadline of 18th of March or April to have that complete and we hit done and you go through and you do that for all the defects snags or punch list that you need to do once you've done that you then go into reports hit new report and in here we're going to show you how to do a sample report um, you pick your um, report that you would like to do here you can change it from a defect to a punch list to a to do to completion inspection service and custom uh, in this case here, we're going to do it, call it a defect report. Uh, we're going to pick the project, which is that project there. We're going to leave the contractor blank because I wanted to pick up all the contractors that they've got. If we only wanted to send it to a specific contractor, you would go in here and pick that contractor. You can do your report date, check the last time it was saved, pick your distribution. You want to send it to the contractor. You want to CC the client in it, and you can add your custom emails up the top, and then you basically hit actions preview and it brings up for you all of your report ready to email out so you've checked it you're happy with that actions email and it basically all you have to do is do that and hit the send button